The crowd had fled toward the crossover bridge, but they had found their path blocked by a towering gray-furred ape-man in armor. They huddled together as it backed them against the seawall at the edge of the plaza. <laughs> the anthropoid raised its massive fist. Hey, Sasquatch! Caprice gunned the throttle and popped a wheelie. The armored intersect turned her way as Cory leapt off it, just in time for the bike's front tire to strike it square in the chest. She somersaulted in midair as the Sasquatch fell backward. The bike bounced off to the side and skidded across the empty plaza. Ooh, sorry, baby. You did me proud. Caprice had come down on a three-point landing between the Sasquatch and the suddenly hushed crowd. As she straightened, she saw the intersect shaking off the impact and climbing groggily to its feet. Run! Get to safety! Fire Force is on the way! As the crowd hurried out onto the crossover bridge, Caprice strode forward to confront the towering anthropoid. Who are you? What do you want? Why are you attacking these people? The Sasquatch sized her up for a moment, then straightened to its full height and pounded its chest. The realm shall fall. Caprice looked past it to the plaza beyond. Bodies lay strewn across it, some still moving, others clearly past saving. For a moment, she was terrified. She glanced back at the spectators who straggled behind at the back of the receding crowd. She was keenly aware of a young boy who looked back at her with wide eyes. So she took the energy of her fear and channeled it. This realm won't fall because you terrorize a bunch of sports fans! These people have done nothing to you! They came here today to enjoy a baseball game! For hot dogs and popcorn! For sunshine and blue skies! For friendship and for family! Who are you to ruin that for them? The Sasquatch looked intrigued at the challenge. Who are you to think you can stop us? The words came out of her unrehearsed. Caprice felt like she was channeling 75 years worth of heroes, and she knew exactly what to say. I am the defender of this realm. I am the one who will protect what we love, for I am the mirror of the heart. She shifted into a ready stance, hands raised before her. And I will defeat you! Caprice ducked its swing and delivered a hard double punch to its midsection before pivoting clear. It staggered but didn't fall, its body armor protecting it. It turned and came at her again, reaching out with both arms low. She jumped clear, kicking it in the head as she flew over its shoulder. 